So we had a lot of comments about the gas prices in the last video, uh, so I thought I would show you guys that as well. Alright, so we're back in Baton Rouge. And you can see it's a much nicer day than uh, what it was last time we came. So it's been a month since we've been out here and uh, we checked out the, uh, the sunken ship and the water levels in the Mississippi. They're still looking pretty low. So I wanted to come do an update on that uh, on that situation out here. And of course we're going to go look at the Brook Hill. We're going to go look at the kid. It might be hard to see in the video, but I can see the kid from here. And it's uh, it still looks like it's completely out of water. But then we're going to go we're going to go look at the ferry first, and then uh, we're going to go make our way to the kid. That would be a cool way to uh, to check out everything. Uh, there's a guy in a in his boat, actually, uh, right up in your boat to the shore and check out the ships. All right, so the trail is still here kind of hard to tell from this point if the river has come up a little bit or not from here it looked like it did but obviously we won't know until uh, we get down there So it rained recently. A lot more muddy this time than it was last time. Yeah, the river has definitely come up. In the first video, there was like a uh, some type of steel grating that was right here, somewhere along the edge of the river. That is no longer visible. Uh, we're in the heart of football season, and LSU has a bye week this week. And the only way I'm going to fight LSU football traffic is if I'm actually going to the game. I don't think I've ever been this close to the edge of the Mississippi before. I've ridden boats on it. This is pretty insane. And look at the Brook Hill. It's on the edge of the water. It is now touching the water. Get it as close as I can without sinking into the mud here. Uh, you see, it's really, really, uh, it's muddy right here. I'd rather not slip into the river. And you see the, the boiler over there in the background is almost completely submerged. It was uh, fully on land last time. I had a lot of comments about uh, 
I did not get uh, footage of the boiler. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Look, photograph, touch, and walk in the boat. Please do not take any piece of the ship. It almost looks like it's dislodged a little bit. So yeah, the, obviously the river's come up some. Oh, my shoes are going to be so full of mud. Yeah, so there's the boiler there. Yeah, I mean, the last time I came, obviously, you could see you could walk completely around the ship. Uh, that is not the case now. Walking in the boat again. It wasn't that hard to get in it. Looking back here, you can, you can actually walk on what is not mud. It's actually the ship. There's the boy. A lot of the comments have been, uh, why isn't the state, uh, which the state claims ownership of this boat, uh, why isn't the state doing anything to uh, preserve or uh, excavate this thing and put it in a museum? And, uh, All I can say is it's a great question. I wish uh, I wish I knew the answer to that. I don't know if it's a lack of money, a lack of interest, or both. Yeah, here it is. It's going to be interesting when, uh, well, I almost slipped. <laughs> it's going to be interesting when the uh, when springtime comes. I'm I've got a feeling the boat's going to be completely submerged again because you know when it snows up north uh, during the winter and all that snow melts, it only comes one way. It comes down river. And uh, the Mississippi uh, gets really, really high normally. I don't know if it's going to get as high as it normally does in the springtime because of, you know, the drought or whatever you want to call it, why the, the water levels are so low. But uh, I'm, we'll keep doing updates at least until the boat is completely submerged again. And by that point, we'll have no choice but to just stand up there by the railroad tracks and take the drone out and see uh, what's going on with it.
Oh, that is... That'll be it for the Brook Hill in this update. Making our way very carefully through this. So that's the Brook Hill. We're going to come back, of course, in a few weeks again and see uh, where it's at. See if we can even see it anymore. We'll make our way back to the trail that leads out. And we're going to go and check out the kid. See if we can still walk completely around the kid. All right, so we're at the kid, and we've got to make our way down this slippery slope right here. Uh, I remember that being a little difficult last time, so I'm gonna take my sweet time doing that. You know, I don't think we can walk completely around the ship anymore but as you can see uh, the ship itself is still completely out of water so uh, let's go take a closer look see if there might be a little sliver of land over there where we can still completely walk around the ship but i don't think so Pretty muddy right here. Yeah, you can barely still walk completely around the ship. We got this little patch over here. Clips. And it is really, really soggy right here, or mushy, whatever word you want to use. Let's do it. It may be the last time we get to do it. Look, look how look how deep my foot just went into the sand not crossing right here again yeah now the ground feels a little harder right here It's a little harder over here too. In fact, some other people have been tracking through this as well. I know there was a lot of comments about uh, 
the condition of the ship. Uh, the hull is looking uh, like it can use some TLC. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Big step up right here. Where are we going to step? This might be the best place. sure what this thing is. Someone can leave a, something in the comments and tell me what this is. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, there was a lot of comments about the, uh, the condition of the ship and uh, it really could use some love. I did find an article. I want to say it was uh, from WBRZ, which is a local uh, station in Baton Rouge. And they said that uh, the ship was undergoing uh, some maintenance, including plans uh, for the hull. Uh, but that article was back in June. I haven't found anything on it since, so I don't know if uh, the repairs were to continue when the river started uh, receding like this. I'll see if I can find the article while we're walking around the ship. I know that it said um, the rising and falling of the river does affect the ship's hull. So uh, the hull was definitely part of the um, the maintenance that's supposed to be done. In fact, I'll, I'll quote the article here. I've got it up on my phone. Uh, the ship is 79 years old, approaching its 18th. 80th, excuse me, birthday next year. Executive uh, Director Rosen Geip says, when the water rises and falls, it creates a constant threat to the ship's hull. Ultimately, the fluctuation could lead to the sinking of the kid. And we most certainly do not want that. Uh, I love the kid. I love coming and see it. Uh, I have toured it before. I may even end up touring it again uh, today do not want to see this ship go away and uh, the kid the, the kid the kid does have a sister ship I believe it's in Buffalo New York and uh, that ship is called the USS the Sullivan's and I don't know if it was this year or in the last couple of years but that ship did develop a list I think it was to the port side and it did partially sink. Um, repairs were done. Uh, the ship is fine now. It's it is floating uh, as it should. It uh, it also serves as a museum ship, like the kid does. Yeah, we might just go end up touring the kid. Why not? It would be interesting to see uh, how the river looks from the uh, near, when you, over uh, there on the port side of the ship, actually on the ship. I mean, I've, I've been here where I've seen the kid, you know, completely in water. I mean, I, and what I mean is, uh, you know, floating as if it were out in the middle of the ocean. So to see it completely out of water like this is still, even though I, I saw it a month ago, it's still 
pretty incredible. Look at that. Yep, that is pretty high up. And there are people still walking around uh, on the ground, checking out the bottom of the ship. Oh, jeez. That is really high up. It 
really doesn't look like you're that high up from when you're looking at them on the ground. But man, is that high. All right, so now we're up even higher than what we were. We're above the uh, boat deck. Jeez, that's it's mind blowing how high up we actually are. It's gonna be real interesting on the port side. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> 